back to class again um back to something that price you said um you can see that it's written that this sellers this platform will actually automatically convert it to the equivalent that equivalent in other currencies so you don't need to worry about that maybe such questions may come up all right so the next one is actually um this this over here is actually um a code if you know how to code so you can embed your code there but we are not web designers really we're just using this to structure our um our product environments to just as though you are creating a site a sales page okay so for this other one here um why is it covering my okay let me bring it down okay for example i'm just taking an example i this one here uh you can choose a color maybe you can choose a green color all right so you can choose all right so um you can just select the ones you want to add a color to and add it okay so um if you make a mistake there's no um undo here you can just choose black back for for this one um let me then for the next one i think i'll make that happen here for the next one is to add a background to your um to your text so it's gonna be a uh, kind of okay okay i actually clicked on the line mistakenly to add this other one click and then let's add this yes you can see that a background is added here is what you can see a background kind of background to the text is added and that's what that does all right so i think um i think let's just leave it like that so it just to show you what it does all right the other one here is alignment all right so i don't know whether you know what alignment is if you want to know more about um, some principles of designs and all of that how to set actually know how to set the hierarchy you know everything the headings and all of that um, these are not too difficult stuff anyway but if you want to learn more about graphic design you can take one of my courses visit my store um, this very store i'm creating or <laughs> i think i'll add more products on this store too you can visit chris graphics so i'm going to show you that store maybe later somewhere in this video and the, in any of the vid upcoming videos all right so we're finished with that so alignment if you want this to be centralized you can let me just highlight it if you want it to be a centralized stuff let me move this away um you can click this alignment and choose centered alignment you can see that everything is actually centralized so i think let's leave it like that this next screen uh this next one is really not very important if i want it if i want this to be one two three if you want to add numbers if you want to add numbers that is the next one the next one is when you want to add um the next one here is when you want to add bullet points all right so um let me just practicalize all of them so that you know um most of them are bullets have been um added already okay i just discovered something watch the stuff here uh, look at this thing is not going to be active at all because this is not so i'm going to bring this down and this is not actually linked so um, let me just remove this watch the video okay um just to copy oh my god it's just to cut it let me cut and then i'm going to paste i'm going to paste it here all right so i'm going to paste it here that's fine okay i think that's all for now so the other one bullets um let me just put in let me write let me copy this i've already put um m um icons as bullets so you can just if you click this one two three you can see that it's putting it one two three numbering them for you if you put this bullet it's going to put in the bullet so you select the places you want and then add the bullet so make sure you use enter to demarcate before you add the bullets and the numbers then this other one um this is subscripts if you want to add the subscripts 
um, okay you can see um, it's just maybe you can select ah uh, let's let's take it back you can just select for example if um, you can just select R out of that you see everything is just affecting everything but I just need to show you everything so that you know you can be sure uh, let's choose bold okay so let's do another example with that so um, you know mathematics let's see X subscript 2 let's try this two and see so I'm going to select this two um, if it doesn't work out then you just leave it it's not too important like that all right so I've not not really used it before but um, I just want to try, out, try it out for you to you know to see how it works okay um yeah fine fine bro so i'm going to now select this two someone just healed me so <laughs> uh all right yes two is selected so let me choose this okay um it's just bringing everything down all right so um i'm not really used this so let's just leave it like that so i've not been using it because i don't think it's it's important um all right so the other things are set so um so basically our page is set all right so our page is set ready to master pixel lab and create sony designs effortless your phone unleash whatever blah 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 you can just choose to increase um header one header two header three like that bring it low bring it just bringing it you know down like that so that's just um according to the hierarchy so this is basically um how you put those stuffs and how that place works this is one of the most technical parts um in terms of product onboarding on seller that many people don't know how to do and that's what i've shown you at least 98 percent of everything you need to know about those headers and uh, everything that is there so everything is going to work perfectly for you so in the next video we're going to proceed from there there are still um lots of settings and i'll show you how to do this how to do that here and there in pixel lab all right thank you very much and see you in the next class